what's up guys it's your boy Gano. welcome back to the state garage on today's video we're going to be changing all the fluids on the truck but first let's see if she turns on i think the starter staying stuck for sure but it works it turns on <laughs> we got it running guys i don't want to let it get too hot because we're about to change the oil but sounds good it sounds healthy so that's what matters we're about to drain the coolant for sure here we got the bucket and then you see that little white butterfly right there you turn that one all right so you want to turn that little white butterfly left like left to lucy and all the fluid will come out got the coolant draining already and uh we're about to get the oil all right guys so this is what we're doing now is i mean it's not a pressure washer by any means but i get the idea it has pretty good pressure so i've been hitting this the inside of it just to get everything kind of loose in there whatever i can actually reach but the water's coming out somewhat it's a little bit better it looks a little bit dirty still. So I've been hitting this, so you can tell all that nasty foam. And then I was getting the little reservoir tank because it's kind of nasty in there too. So talk about a balanced dry shaft. Let's go ahead and drain this oil and put some new fluid in there guys. We got a size 15 socket. We're about to see what we can do. I always make a mess with this shit. No matter how ready I think I am. Oh, it was a pretty good one today. <laughs> color man it looks like piss all right guys so she's running good i'm letting it run with the, oh there we go you see it already needs water so we did the like a bottle and a half of the coolant and uh we need to top it off with water but man she sounds good she sounds healthy as i can tell when i turned it on i know the starter is getting stuck for sure we're gonna wait to see if the temperature works we don't got no lights on other than that abs one i don't know why <clears throat> another thing i checked that i had in that all the windows go down the other crew cab that i had the other uh, crew cabs that i had it's always the this one behind the driver one that never turned that never goes down and this one does we took the mirror off since we're about to drive right now go to the car wash and uh get things to get this thing cleaned up guys because this is this is bad i ordered some stuff from amazon like this little kit that comes with uh like brushes and stuff for the uh for the drill so we can wash the carpet clean everything up and then we're gonna have to find some seats man because that's not gonna cut it we got all the lights working it looks like it let's check the back these tail lights gotta go too man i don't like them it looks like they're on yeah they're on yeah this one's on too you can tell hopefully the thermostat is not like frozen or whatever I'm doing that, seeing if the temperature will go up. It looks like it's staying at 100. I don't want to stay stranded. <laughs> let me uh, let it run for a little bit, guys, and then I'll cut you guys back on right now when we're going to the car wash. Let's go to the car wash real quick. Here goes nothing. 
are moving. Man, it's actually driving pretty good, guys. Another thing that is crazy, and I'm, I can't believe it. The mirrors, they still work. Look, we're gonna go to the like kind of shitty car wash real quick, just to spray it down and rinse out the bed and uh, vacuum all the like nasty stuff, and then we'll go through the little, through the little drive-through car wash that I always go to through Blue Wave. If you're from Pasadena, you know where I'm at right now. I'm right here on Richie. Man, the, uh, the brakes do feel kind of, well, of course, it's been parked for a while. The rotors have to be out, you know, rusted a little bit, a little surface rust. But uh, she's driving really good. It's kind of scary, guys, just to get stranded. It's not traffic hour, but there is a lot of traffic right now. So I'm kind of scared just to get stuck on, stay stranded on one of the main highways or something. So got like $4 and quarters. So let's see what we can do to this thing, man. Well, won't you look at that? <laughs> I seen water leak, you know. I was like, man, let me check it out real quick. So we gotta change that up for sure. And the temperature, so if you ought to read it on the gauge, man. So we'll let her cool off for a little bit and uh, let's get to washing. That's not that big of a deal. Nothing too serious guys we pretty much just rinsed it up get all that green stuff off of there but man look at this i'm out of quarters for car wash guys but look at all that stuff everywhere this shit went everywhere all this dirt was flying everywhere look at this i think we go to our rallies real quick guys and get that little uh that little nipple that has a hole in it. I think we should. So, everything else looks good. I did, I didn't record, I did rinse all that stuff. It was completely full of leaves as well. So we're outside the water zone. I don't even know how I made it this far. So this is the old one, obviously. This is the new one, look at this. It's gone completely. Got the little hose clamp. I'm about to take care of this real quick. I'll catch you guys back at home. Look how nasty it looks. I just seen that. Probably gonna need a new radiator, guys, just to be safe. The following so day. So today is day three of messing with the crew cab. Today's a new day. Um, I tried to turn it on this morning, or right now, like 10 minutes ago. And um, the starter is just not good. So I just unplugged the positive. I'm about to go down there, take it off, and let's go buy a new one and let's see if that was the issue. Because I did not want to start over. It sounds like it's getting stuck, you know, the shaft in there. So let's go ahead and take it off. Size 14 socket. All right, guys. So we're back from our Riley's, and we're going to go ahead and change out this bottom hose right here that goes to the water pump. There's upper hose right here that connects to the thermostat. We got the radiator cap because look at that. Um, we got the hoses right here. There's one, there's another one. Thermostat. This is the sending unit, the temperature sending unit for the dashboard because it doesn't work. So it's that little plug right there that's under the thermostat. And that's it. We got the starter right here. So I'm going to go ahead and Go down there, change this out, and then we'll get the rest of the stuff right now.
All right, guys, so we got the new starter in. Everything's connected properly. So let's go give it a shot. Let's see if it works. I got pretty caught up with all this, but thermostat is off, the sensor's off, the hoses are off, and this is crazy, guys. Look at that. This is the upper hose. It's just crazy to me. Look at that. So, I guess that's what happens for running just water instead of cooling there you go the water's coming out a little bit cleaner i'm gonna i'm gonna rinse everything out um radiator everything that i can pretty much all the water system and then uh we'll put the new hoses on and we'll top everything off with some more cooling again all right guys so we pretty much got the whole top hose connected already thermostats in uh the little temperature sending unit this is the part number we did clean all this up too with the wire wheel. Um, install this connector real quick. I hope that's what it was. That the temperature wasn't reading. We're gonna find out right now. There we go. So let me put the bottom holes, man. It's a hassle guys. I'm not even gonna record because it's hard to get in there. Everything's tight, congested. So let me, uh, let me knock it out and then We'll go ahead and top it off with some fluid. Man, guys, I am like totally, totally. This hose is, they kicked my ass like really bad. This lower one, it's too congested in there. And it's very, very hard to maneuver around there. So let's, uh, I just put two bottles of, uh, of antifreeze. And uh, what's next is to top it off with some water. That's what the instructions call for. I guess they were running like just straight water before. And let's see if she even, she's gonna start running. Cause... Let's see. And right on. I'm gonna let the water kind of start circulating, the coolant start circulating. And uh, we're gonna be adding uh, coolant. And she's all, I need to make sure there's no leaks and stuff too. I need to be careful, pay attention. So. Let me top this off, guys, and then we'll head to the car wash so we can uh, back in the inside out and get it cleaned up at least a little bit. There's the stuff in there. Man, I'm tired, guys. So, uh, as y'all can tell, we're about to go through the car wash real quick she is not clean by any means like it was just like a over the surface kind of clean vacuumed the whole truck looked under all the seats vacuumed under the seats man we vacuumed everything cleaned everything out threw all the trash away um there was trash everywhere every door panel under every seat you name it so um little wash for now just to kind of get it a little bit cleaner because i didn't do such a good wash uh yesterday whenever uh we went to the other car wash I, the other car wash was just kind of to you know knock all the heavy stuff off and then well this is just a light vacuum man because it's disgusting and y'all know the world becomes better when you have little trees right <laughs> so uh nah but that's it guys let's uh wash it up we'll get to the house and i'll show y'all a little bit of the interior man i don't even want to show it you know what we're leaving it for another video because it's disgusting First time taking it to work, man, 80 miles an hour, look at that, like nothing. I really think that the exhaust is kind of clogged up or the catalytic converters or something because it makes like a little weird noise and when it bogs down the exhaust, I don't know, it just sounds like, I don't know, that's what it sounds like. So, 
And I hear like some kind of exhaust leak too by the catalytic converters, like down below the seat. So that'll probably be one of the next things that we do is get the exhaust done, take the cats off, go to an aftermarket uh, exhaust. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm about to go into work, so um, yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm working night shift. I go in at 7 p.m., so I'm uh, about to badge in. But uh, we'll continue to work on the truck, guys. Like I said, we'll probably take care of the exhaust. We'll see if we can find some seats. I got the stuff for the radio, the little radio kit, the wiring harness kit, uh, the little kit to install it on the on the dash, and. Uh, that's pretty much it guys um let me know what you think of the truck comment down below hit that like button man hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and i'll catch you guys on the next one man thanks for watching